This will be the first time an RNA vaccine has been approved. However, a lot of thought has gone into RNA vaccines. They've actually been studied in clinical trials for many years now for cancer and other infectious diseases. I'm Dr. John Cook. I'm professor and chair of the Department of Cardiovascular Sciences here at Houston Methodist Hospital. And I also am the medical director of an intriguing new program called RNA Therapeutics. You are called up maybe from high school biology that, that there's DNA that makes up the chromosomes. And that DNA is a genetic blueprint for who we are. You want to keep that genetic blueprint pristine. You don't want any damage to it. So you make a working copy. The working copy of the DNA is RNA. So mRNA is message RNA. It's basically the code for a protein. Now RNA is just around for a few minutes to a few hours in a cell, but it's around long enough so that the cell can then translate that RNA into the protein. So the message of who you are goes from the chromosomes, the DNA, into RNA, and then that RNA is translated into proteins that make up who we are. RNA vaccines are different from the previous vaccines. For one, there's no chance that they would be infectious because the RNA only encodes a small portion of the virus. And the two RNA vaccines that are coming to us now encode the spike protein of the coronavirus. So it's just a piece. But it's, it's enough of the virus that when the body translates that RNA into the spike protein, the body can start to react against that spike protein. And that will provide an effective immune response. The reactions that have been reported have all been local reactions to the shot, and uh, then some slight fever, you may feel a little fatigued, some aches and pains, but the next day, you're better. And now you're protected, you're immunized against COVID-19.